Hey everyone, it's your girl Twin D and welcome back to my channel. Subscribers, thank you so much for continuing to view your messages and new subscribers. Welcome, 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 welcome to the Twin D Club. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I will be doing a reading, trying to find out what your masculine is hiding from you guys. And I'll be using my Oracle cards that I used yesterday. They're new. The Sibylla Oracle cards. I love these cards along with the Under the Roses, Lenormand. I love these cards so much. They're so direct and get right to the point. Oh, guys, just to let you know, I've also created my own Oracle cards. And as soon as they come out and they're available, then I'll put a link down where you guys can go and purchase this Oracle card deck for yourself. These cards will also be direct to and as soon as I get them, I will be showing them to you guys. They're very direct and you ask any question, you get your answers for anybody to use anybody you could just be somebody who wants to know what's going on tomorrow you could be a twin flame you could be a psychic reader it's for anyone so as soon as i get them out then i let you guys know and i'm excited to see them also anyways let's jump right in the reading our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come that will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom the power and the glory forever and ever amen okay we'll be starting with the Sevilla oracle cards my first time doing one of these so let's see what we can get out from these guys or girls okay masculines tell me about what you're hiding from your feminine that you don't want them to know as yet by masculines what don't you want your feminines to know I'm getting protector Anything else, Divine Masculines? Quarrel. So there's been some argument. Maybe this protector guy is like a father figure. And they have had some arguments with this father, father figure regarding this connection. Maybe the father doesn't want the masculine to be headed in that direction. And there have been some arguments about it. Anything else about my masculines? Delay. There is some delay in them coming towards you. Somebody has been throwing stones here. So maybe that's what the argument was about. Somebody has been like lying or making up stories, telling these stories to this family member, why this family member is so upset with your masculine. And then these quarrels and arguments are causing a delay. There's also some masculines who may have gambled their money. So now they're in or having a financial crisis, which is the reason why some of them can't come to you because they have lost a great deal of money. And now they need their money to make that decision to come towards you. And they're trying to build it, build up their pocket. Anything else, Divine Masculine? 
that you don't want your divine feminines to know. Oh, this is so sweet. Look at that. That's so sweet. They do not want you to know that they're thinking about you. No wonder they are so, um, what, what, what they call it? Their faces are always so stone cold sometimes. Even when they look at you, they're thinking about you from the bottom of their heart and their faces are so stone cold. Because they're really and truly hiding their feelings, their true feelings. And they are so having hope that they can have this connection with you. So they're hiding the fact that they're thinking about you and that they do have hope that this relationship can finally be anchored down, can finally stand still. They can finally have this relationship grounded. As nobody can move either of you. It's like, you, well, they know now you're joined together. And nobody can disturb this relationship. But they're hiding the fact that they're having hope. That they can still have this relationship with you. And you're thinking about you a lot. Wow, this person's even like they dreaming like they don't even know what's going on but they're thinking about you a lot it's like two thinking cards you're hoping praying wishing you're thinking eight and two is ten and then we have the eleven here something is progressing Something is progressing. Maybe it's their thoughts and, and what they want to do with this relationship. But they're definitely defending themselves regarding this situation. They're defending themselves regarding this situation. Even with this protector card and the quarry cards, like they, they are having to defend themselves regarding this, this connection. People are throwing stones at you, at the relationship. At the connection itself. But they're not standing for that. You don't even know that they are having fights and arguments regarding this connection and they're protecting this connection. You don't even know what's going on because they don't say anything, because they're hiding their thoughts and their emotions. Some of them have financial issues, as we've always been seeing in these readings, and that's because some of them had gambling issues, addictions, and they lost their money, and now they're working hard to get it back. On the bottom of the deck, we have presents. So some of them are hiding the fact that they have presents for you. Maybe this is coming from the reading I did yesterday where the masculines have a, have a surprise for their feminines and now they have gifts for you. Maybe gifts that they wanted to even give you for the holiday and didn't even get the chance to. But they're hiding the fact that they have gifts for you. Gifts waiting to be delivered. Okay, tell me more about this protector card, Divine Masculine, that you don't want your Divine Feminine to know. See, I was telling you about the anchor. I was telling you about the anchor. Something to hold them down. They're holding down this relationship. They're making sure that 
people's thoughts and ideas don't get the best of them. This is their security and stability, this connection. And they're going to be holding this connection in place, protecting this connection. That's exactly what I said. And tell me about this quarrel, the garden. Well, I've gotten this once. The garden. This is like a path that they, they, they want to take. So, yeah. This is coming from others, from people. Groups of people, maybe, as I said, their family members, could be friends. But they are going to, what's, what's the word? It just came to me and just left. Defy their wishes because they wish for that you not to be with your masculine and they want your masculine to not be with you and your masculines are going to defy their wishes and be with you. So this is also signifying that you and your masculine are going to be in a pleasant, pleasant gathering. That looks like some wedding chapel thing to me. What do you see? <laughs> this is social gathering. That is social gathering. Maybe he wants to get married to you. And he made this known to maybe his, his his friends, his family members, his father, someone, and they had a disagreement about it, but he's going to defy their wishes. And he's going to keep this relationship into place and have this marriage. And in other scenario, it's like what, what I was saying before, where there are groups of people who are trying to get at your masculine, telling him, no, don't do this, don't do that. And your masculine is totally disagreeing with them because he knows what he wants, which is divine feminine, and he's not going to let anyone stop him. Tell me about this delay. What is this delay? The child. The child. So there are children involved here. So this could be a child that they already have, or even could be a new one, a new child. This could also even represent their immaturity that's stopping them. And they don't want you to know about it, that they're just being shy or they're just falling over themselves. So in other scenarios, it could be that they have children and that's what is, is holding them back and they're hiding that from you or the fact that they have a new child on the way and they're holding that back. Tell me about these gamblers, please. Tell me about this gambler, the dog. So they're going to be loyal. They're loyal enough to want to try and win their money back. Maybe they're going to ask their friends for help to make sure that they get enough money to move forward to you. Because money is an issue here. Money is an issue and it's holding them back. And they don't want you to know this. They do not want you to know this. And they also want to know that they are very loyal to you and you can trust them. Now they want you to know that. That's what I just heard, my friend. 
and this for hope we have the snake for hope the snake that is so not nice <laughs> This is like some deception, maybe not, not all this deception that he has been facing. Doesn't matter what people want to say about you. The lies, jealousy around you, the manipulation that he's been through. He, do, he doesn't want you to know that people are telling lies about you. No, here, just as I said. People are throwing stones at you. People are telling lies about you. People are trying to just manipulating your masculine, trying to keep him away from you. People are being jealous about your connection. And he doesn't want you to know that. That's why he still has hope in this relationship because he knows that they are all lies. He knows that they are all lies. Tell me about this thought in regards to what the masculine does want the feminine to know. The fox, again, with the deception. Again. This could even be that the masculine is thinking of getting a new job. He doesn't want you to know that. And he definitely doesn't want you to know that he was being manipulated by people to not come forward to you. It's like he was being tricked. 415, that's going to change right there. And then we have the lady. So he doesn't even want you to know that he's thinking about you. So you're on his mind at all times, and he doesn't want you to know that. That's one of the reasons why I was saying about their faces being stone cold at all times. Because they don't even want you to know that they're thinking about it, but you're a major part of, of their thoughts every day. You're a major part of their thoughts every single day. Look what's on the bottom. The letter. He doesn't want you to know that he's going to come in with communication. I guess now we may have spoiled that, um, that surprise. But <laughs> just act surprised, okay, when this communication comes in. <laughs> okay, just act surprised. Or maybe someone may be coming to you with a document showing you that um, they have gotten a divorce or something or they have, they have settled some form of case here, court case or something, something to do with the documents. Or they may have gotten like a diploma or a degree, a higher level of education so they can change their job and they're going to surprise you with this information. But look out for that. But act surprised when it comes, okay? Act surprised. Okay, let me get you some... I can't leave out the romance angels, you know. Let me get you some romance angels and guidance for this group of masculine and feminine. Ho, ho, ho. Very soon. Clara, decide what you want so that it comes to you now. I want my masculine. <laughs> yes, let it come to me very soon. Very soon, look what's on the bottom. Look right here. Look what's on the bottom, man. The wedding. I want that too. Oh my good God, I gotta start thinking harder on that wedding. <laughs> okay. Really just factors. 
your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. So maybe that's one of the things that he had, that he had these arguments about. These arguments with his family. And he doesn't want you guys to know that. Oh my gosh. Guys, if you're hearing that sound, the, f the food processor. I'm so sorry. Well, anyways, guys, sorry about that disturbance right there. But as I was saying, there were some arguments, and I think that may be one of the issues that he doesn't even want you to know, he didn't want to reveal to you that his upbringing is causing an issue. A very big issue for him not coming forward towards you. But he is fighting for your connection. He is fighting for your connection. Okay, we have retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. There you go. A retreat is on the way. Seen an older male, younger female here. Could be the opposite. Doesn't matter, a retreat is coming. Because there's a lot of chemistry in this relationship. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. Deception, yes. Just what I just talked about. There was deception in this connection. Your masculine was being lied to about you. People were throwing stones behind your back. People were telling lies to your masculine about you. People were trying to deceive your masculine about you. People just wanted to make sure that your masculine does not come forward to you. And then we have honeymoon. Oh yeah. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. Oh yes. Let me put you right beside that retreat. Oh, there you go. Very soon honeymoon retreat. Thank you very much. And flirt. When I'm on my honeymoon flirting, oh my good God, nobody can stop me. Nobody's going to stop me. You know, I, I don't. Okay, okay, let's get back to the card. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. Oh, you don't have to tell me. You don't have to tell me about that. Mm -hmm. You deserve love. You are lovable. Yes, we are. Both you and your masculine is very lovable. And both of us deserve love. Divine masculines and feminines, both of you deserve love. So don't take anybody's shit for no reason, no problems, nothing. You deserve to be loved. And if you see your love, no matter what religion, no matter what complexion, if you see and you know that somebody loves you, no matter your financial status, you go for it. Love is all that's real and love is all that matters. Okay, I have no time to preach anymore right now. I'm tired. <laughs> Okay, let's get you some Archangel messages and then we close out. Teaching and learning, Archangel Zadkiel. Keep an open mind and learn new ideas. Then teach these ideas to others. Always keep an open mind about what's going on around you. That's how you learn and that's how you can impart your knowledge to others. Sensitivity. You are extra sensitive to energies and emotions right now. Honor yourself and your feelings. Please do. And when anybody is trying to get you out to behave badly, you hold yourself together because they're trying to make you look bad in front of your masculine. So they are thinking that your masculine is going to say, oh my God, she behaves so badly. I don't want her. But no way, no how. They, know, they don't know what's going on here. And breathe. Archangel Raphael. Take several deep breaths and exhale slowly to awaken your energy and to release old patterns. Exactly. So when they're trying to get at you so that you get upset and get mad, just take a deep breath and then you'll get calm and release those old patterns. Yeah, I'll do that too. I need to do that. You are safe, Archangel Michael. I am protecting you against lower energies and guarding you, your loved ones, and home. There you go. No need to worry. They can't harm you. Your masculine is not even paying attention to all those lies because he's still fighting for you. 
And there you go, very soon. And expect that communication coming in. Expect it. That has been your reading, everybody. I hope it resonates with someone out there. Take care of yourself, guys. I love you all. Bye.